Hi guys, this is Lena again at GradeLink. Thanks for joining me for the financial webinar video series. This particular video is sort of a companion video to the uh, monthly upkeep where we talked about posting, uh, opening and closing these billing periods so that you could uh, run a statement. We also talked a little bit about how uh, when you set up your pay plans, when you close these billing periods, that that's what causes the payments to automatically uh, charge in the ledger and then appear on a statement. So in this video, I want to show you uh, another option. It's a, it's a little bit tricky, uh, but try to stick with me here, and I'm going to explain a feature that I think will be uh, actually very helpful to you if you want to make use of it. So um, if we remember, for example, that we're looking at January, and the January billing period here spans from the 1st to the 31st, it looks like. And it's currently uh, set to pending. So typically, if there were any students who were on a pay plan, the charges that we set up on the pay plan would not trigger into the ledger until I, well, I would first have this open, and then I would have to change the period status to closed in order to trigger those charges in the ledger for any students on a pay plan. Let's say, however, uh, that I don't want to wait until January 31st in order to make my charges appear in the ledger. Let's say that I want to instead make them appear uh, halfway through the month. Let me pull up a specific student so we can talk about an example. Let's look at Amelia Earhart here. Here's her pay plan for tuition. And I can see that for March, she should be charged on February 23rd. And there's the amount. Now I'm going to jump back over to my admin, or excuse me, not my admin, I'm going to jump to my billing. And that charge would fall between this February 1st and February 28th date range. But it looks like we actually technically we want her to her charge to appear on the 23rd. So what can we do about that? Well, I'm going to go over to my billing, and one option would be we could wait until the end of the month and then just close the billing period status. And even though we wanted it to be charged on the 23rd, we would just have to wait until the 28th so we could close this and therefore make her charge appear. Uh, but that's a that's a little bit. Um, complicated and maybe not that ideal. So what we can do is go to our admin tab in the upper right and then click on your settings, which is at the top of the page, and then just check this box here that says enable installment billing dialog support for mid-period mid posting. Now what does that mean? Well, I'll show you. First I'm going to save this change. Then I'm going to jump back to my billing tab. And let's see what this page looks like now. Okay, so things changed around a little bit here when I selected that option. Now we're looking at February, still pending. And uh, here's my period status, so I want this to be open. It just shifted over a little bit. It's the same box from before. It was up here, but now it's down here. We uh, we still have the lunch charges area. That's not that abnormal. But what we see that we did not see before is this contracts installments area with pending with a pending column and then a posting column. We can see the number of debits or charges, the total amount of those charges, as well as the number of credits or payments and the amount of credits or payments. So what I can do is come into my billing tab here, I can click this post refresh month to date statements button in gray. And what that does is it immediately posts any lunch billing and any pay plan charges into the ledger as soon as I click this button. 
normally those things would not trigger into the ledger until I change this period status drop down to closed. But if there's a situation where I want them to post ahead of my close date, then it would make sense for me to click the post refresh month to dates installments. And sure enough, now these charges and, and payments appear in the posted column. So where it posts is the ledger. I'm going to go over to the ledger. And here I can see my February 23rd tuition charge there for Amelia. Now, typically we would have had to wait until we until the end of the month to post that, but now I can actually post it as soon as that bill on date for Amelia passes. So as soon as the 23rd passes here, then I would be able to come into my billing tab, click the post refresh month to date installments, and these uh, charges and payments automatically appear in the ledger right away. And so um, that's just a, a helpful kind of feature. So if you're a little bit confused about opening and closing the, uh, the billing period each month, or you're confused at how the bill on dates with pay plans uh, work exactly with closing billing periods, then this might be a helpful option for you. And again, to get there, I just clicked on Admin in the upper right, and I selected this option to Enable Installment Billing Dialog or Support for Mid-Period Posting. So that means just this option, uh, just to reiterate, it allows you to immediately post these transactions as soon as the state happens, rather than having to wait until the end of the billing cycle. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Um, hope that that's a helpful feature for you. And uh, we look forward to, uh, to you work using the financial section. If you do have any questions about the financial section, uh, you can always feel free to send an email to service at gradelink.com, or you can reach us at 1-800-742-3083. Thanks so much, guys. This is Lena from Gradelink signing off.